Hello everyone and welcome back to Italy. I am Danilo Romolini and today we are in the beautiful Tuscany. I am about to show you an incredible luxury restored hamlet nestled on top of a hill with a breathtaking view of the hills all around. Are you ready to see it? Come with me. We are located in the lush Tiber Valley, famous for being crossed by the river Tiber. We are right in the border with Umbria and literally on a location that offers incredible views. Five minutes to Anghiari, which is a really charming town with a spectacular view and full of cozy and charming restaurants and all of the main facilities. Then we are also about 10 minutes to San Sepolcro, half an hour to Arezzo, and about an hour and a half to Florence. The hamlet is located at the center of its 26 hectares plot of land. The land is divided into agricultural land, forest, there is about one hectare of vineyard producing some wine, perfect for family use and about two hectares of olive oil with approximately 300 plants producing on average 400 liters of excellent extra virgin olive oil. The hamlet is feeling like a little village. There are just over 1,000 square meters of internal spaces which equal to approximately 11,000 square feet with a total of eight bedrooms with all of the buildings combined and 10 bathrooms. The property is made up of, in total, five buildings. There is the main manorial villa, which is the most important building. Then there is a beautiful playroom with also a garage by the entrance. There is the first guest house, which is currently used for the accommodation of the housekeeper. And then there is the second guest house that you see on my left which is divided into bedrooms and living spaces perfect for guests and for friends on my left over here you find the last building which is split into gym and into a pool house in fact it is right by the swimming pool the property is an ancient fattoria which in italian means farm and you can tell by the layout has the main villa was the important building where the owner of the estate was living and the other buildings were mostly used for animals, for agricultural purposes or in the accommodation part, the housing for the workers of the owner. In terms of system, all of the gardens and the beautifully manicured outdoor spaces are watered by an automated irrigation system. It is fueled by the three wells of the property. They are also purified and connected to the buildings. Then, for extra storage for water, there are several tanks around the property that amount to approximately 40,000 liters of water. And then, for gas, there is a large 5,000 liters LPG tank. On the side of the property, very close to the buildings, but in a reserved position, we have the incredible swimming pool. It is 15 by seven meters with a beautiful infinity edge all around. It is nestled on a position that is panoramic on the hills, on the olive grove, and it is really outstanding. The pool is equipped with a chlorine filtration system and all around we find this large sunbathing area made out of stone, ideal to enjoy the outdoor spaces throughout the whole day. In fact, this area is kissed by the sun all day long. And on this side we find an outdoor patio with table to have a pleasant lunch or meal by the pool. Let's begin by the entrance of the property. As you enter, you find these two beautiful buildings. The first on my right 
is currently the house of the housekeeper. There is on the ground level a living area with kitchen and upstairs a bedroom with bathroom. On my left you find this beautiful building which in the past was a large storage for agricultural purposes. Nowadays it's been repurposed with at the entrance on that side we find a nice spacious garage and a little winery. On the front part of the second building we find this spacious loggia. I believe this is one of the best part of the whole property. It is sheltered, it is very cozy with a beautiful view on the side and all around you're surrounded by beautiful flowers and plant. Truly a tranquil spot. Welcome inside the games room. We are right by the loggia we've just seen. It is a beautiful space, very large, high ceilings, exposed beams. And on this side, we notice how these two machines provide with the heating and cooling. The room has access on three sides to the external spaces and is also equipped with its own bathroom. It is nice and spacious with table tennis over here, snooker table and the soccer table in the end. The third building I want to show you is the pool house that you see right behind me. The swimming pool is right there, so this is the closest building to the swimming pool. It is divided into two parts which are internally connected and it has several outdoor accesses. The first part on the front hosts the gym of the property and next there is a large space which is currently used as a changing room for the swimming pool and this building also offers a bathroom which serves the pool area. Right below the pool house we've just seen these beautiful rosemary hedges lead us to the vegetable garden of the property. It is nice and spacious and leveled on three terraces. It is ideal for a family use to have fun and plant your own vegetables. Right upstairs we find this construction over here which is ideal if you have animals that you need to put in a fence space. This is perfectly purpose for it. Welcome to the ground level of the main villa. The villa is approximately 600 square meters, which equals to about 6,000 square feet. It is laid on three levels plus the under roof space for a total of five bedrooms and six bathrooms. It has been beautifully restored and here I have some of the pictures I wanted to show you of what it was like before all of the works. It was literally a ruin and on the ground level is where the farmer used to keep the animals. In fact, you can see the arches that now have been restored and it's truly impressive work. The ground floor of the villa welcomes us with the living spaces. The first huge space is the kitchen. It begins on the side with the stove, with gas and two ovens. And then we find the first out of two islands with storage and two drawers for fridge and refrigerator. While on this side, we find a working top with sink and all of this space includes three dishwashers and two fridges, one over here and a second one on this side. Lots of storage and large spaces to host friends and family. This large room is connected first to a dining space over there.
while over here we access to a sitting area. This floor is connected like in a circle. In fact, as you go around, you notice there are doors that connect every space. I love these beautiful arches that have been uncovered together with the ceilings. The floors are made out of a beautiful light stone from Apulia and it is used in Apulia to keep the houses nice and cool during the hotter months. The whole property is equipped in the outdoor spaces with an illumination system and as well both indoor and outdoor including the pool area a stereo system to enjoy music both indoor and outdoor. On the ground level of the main villa, together with the guest house, we find underfloor heating, while upstairs there are radiators. Welcome to the first level of the villa. As you can notice already, there are some beautiful manorial proportions. I wanted to show you this entrance space to the first level with these beautiful exposed terracotta ceilings the stone steps and this space connects the stairs together with the two bedrooms. Welcome to the first large bedroom. I love the sizes of these rooms. They are all imposing and generous. Also here we find this beautiful light colored stone windows on two sides. In fact, we are in the corner of the house, so full of natural light. And this bedroom, just like every other bedroom, has its own ensuite bathroom. It is very special. Come and see it. Welcome to the huge bathroom of the bedroom. It is nearly as big as the bedroom itself. And I love how it is full of natural light. It takes up two windows on this side. We are on the opposite corner of the villa. This bathroom is for sure characterized by this central shower. This is really unique. I've never seen this setup before. You control it through these controls over here and the bathroom is as well equipped with its own large bathtub over here by the window. His and hers sinks, two cozy radiators and over here we have the walk-in closet. Opposite to the bedroom we've just seen we find the other bedroom. It begins with this large reception room, sitting area, TV space, which also has a working fireplace. Right now it's been equipped with this stove over here. It works with firewood and this is the original stone fireplace of the villa. Follow me, I will show you the bedroom. Welcome to the second bedroom as well, nice and spacious, lots of natural light, beautiful Apulia stone on the ground and connected we find the ensuite bathroom. Welcome to the second floor of the villa. Here as well we find this reception space with exposed terracotta on the ceiling, beautiful window overlooking the view and this space connects four other spaces. Over here we get to the third bedroom, nice and large with its own ensuite bathroom. Through this door we go up some stairs and we get to the attic space for lots of extra storage in the villa. Next, we get to the other two bedrooms. The first one right behind me, it is a little bit smaller, but still really cozy with its own ensuite bathroom over there and corner views. So you have beautiful views on the valley and lots of natural light. Over here, this hallway with this beautiful lighting connects to the last bedroom of this villa as well with its own ensuite bathroom. Welcome inside the guest house. It is over 200 square meters, so approximately 2,000 square feet. And it is laid on two levels. Each level can be accessed separately. On the ground level, we find this beautiful K2 
kitchen space with dining and the kitchen over here. Everything is brand new. And here we notice how the finishes are similar but different. The floors are made out of beautiful white stone and on the ceiling we notice some exposed beams. Follow me into the living space. The living area has its own independent access and from here we can notice how it is nice and cozy, beautiful exposed beams as well. We have a working stove with firewood. Through that door we access to the washroom of this level and on this side this other door leads to a comfortable storage space. Let's now see the first level of the farmhouse. On the first level, we find the three bedrooms and three bathrooms of this floor. There are two over here. Each one has its ensuite bathroom. Have a look at the first one. Welcome to the second one. I love the finishes on this floor. You have terracotta both on the floor and on the ceiling with these high slanted ceilings with exposed beams and terracotta. On this floor, as I mentioned earlier, you also have an independent access. In fact, there is an outdoor stair that leads to this bedroom. And on this side, we are connected to the ensuite bathroom. This is the third and last bedroom of this building. It can be accessed through another independent access on this side. And here it is. We are on the other corner of the building with two beautiful windows. And on this side, we're connected to the ensuite bathroom. It has both a shower and a bamboo wood bathtub. And here we are ending today's property tour. What a property. When you walk around, it truly feels like walking around an ancient Italian village. It offers luxury finishes. It is pretty much brand new, turnkey, and ready to move in. At the same time, there are lots of spaces, over 1,000 square meters of internal spaces, which is enough for a large family or a family with lots of friends. It is set on a dreamlike setting with unrevealed views all around. I hope you liked it just as much as I did. Please remember to subscribe to the Romolini channel for the most beautiful homes of Italy every week. Until next time, ciao!